Hello, everybody, and welcome to the qualifiers of the Risk World Championships. We are here uh, playing uh, for to be into the next round. The purpose of the qualifier round is just to make sure everyone shows up into the tournament so that we can continue on to the next round and gets rid of all the people who are not going to be here on time. It, it's just all about accountability. That's the purpose of it. Anyways, uh... This is the start of season three, 2023 of the World Risk World Championships. I am first to go. This is all for funsies, so it doesn't really matter, but uh, let's just enjoy it. All right, let's get started. We are first to go. Um, we want this position. Let's hope no one goes for bonuses like big noobs. Uh, let's look at uh, Master. Okay, so he's not going to go for a bonus. We're good. Levin Millen is a novice. We got Zulu West 12 as a beginner. We got Purple Darkness 84 as a beginner. And we got Ryan Insign as a Grand Master flat out. Okay, so we got a pretty nifty lobby. Uh, bottom right position, top right position. There's our card. We have those connections. Let's make that. Let's make an attack and fortify troops together i like it we're all around the board i think this is perfect this is a good start um we got one two three four five positions these two are connected so five positions i'll take it i'll probably move this one up a little bit like maybe here or here somewhere and i'll be cool with it other than that, I think we're solid with our positions in the game. Um, yeah. First position, if we get a good enough start, maybe see something happen in the middle. Might give it a little bit of a switch. I don't know. Is higher ground smart enough to notice it? We'll see. Um, but yeah, here we are, guys uh how many territories are, how many territories we start with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yep eleven territories yeah okay all right well Looking back at uh, previous tourneys for the Risk World Championships, I have made it to two semifinals. Um, my very first tournament, I made it to round three, which was season two, 2022. I made it to round three in that tournament, consisting of around 500 people. Um, my second tourney was in the Risk uh, season three, 2022. Uh, and that one, I got to semifinals being the points leader all the way to the final, where I did not make it to the finals, but I was the points leader up until someone scored at the end of that game. Um, season one of 2023, I made it to round three and did not make it to round four, just barely missed it. And then season two of 2023, I made it to the semifinals and didn't move on. So now we are here. This is my fifth world championships tourney let's hope it goes well all right um want this position so i want this to be my uh guard on me over here so there's not going to really be kill guards unless it's here here this is a good spot to protect my to protect people from making a kill guard off of anyone else so no one's going to be kill guarded except for maybe red um let's get an attack south right here get this good position this is a good territory to hold um yeah and we will fortify this guy now well, let's do that guy I think because like what I was talking about with trying to move this guy up, I will uh, make this a position and then move this guy a couple territories up to cover the position where he's moving out. Okay, so I'll get the whole middle. 
and then we'll get a feel for the board see where we need to be remember we're, we're not exactly playing with like you know how we play with friends games all the time this is uh we got we got some noobs in here we can't just play it like normal okay and we cannot care we, i need to let go of the 12 territory thing i cannot care about that but i need to avoid the noobs here so this is a master this is a grandmaster we have purple darkness he's a beginner this is a beginner this is a novice so i think we need to uh stay away from red the most he's like single stacking interesting okay got a single stacker here <sighs> Blue can't decide what he's going to do, huh? Oh, makes his attack finally. Okay. Uh, we are playing on Turkey Zombies, or sorry, Zombies. Turkey 70% domination, 60 second turn timers, expert AI if someone bots out. Not ranked, it's progressive, bounce blitz, novice grand master, of course. Alliances are off, fog is off, blizzards are off, it's automated, and portals are off. This is just a classic 70% game on Turkey. It's a great, a great setting to play on. Alright. I tried to convince maybe zombies, but they wouldn't let it happen, so that's where we're at with that. Um get a card here. Looks like they separated my position there, so there's nothing we can do about that. I'm just going to leave the two there, not at that, not add to it. Um, so, yep. I like the five being here, though. Hmm. I guess we're going to keep this one. I'm really not sure how to play this. Just remove purple, I guess. I'll leave that there. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Green's on twelve because he has nineteen percent is twelve territories. Let's remember that going forward. Remember, everybody, this is a qualifier. The uh, bounties don't matter. The wind doesn't matter. Placement doesn't matter. This game is purely here just to make sure people are accountable for joining in the rest of the tournament. And I'll get rid of all the people that are not showing up. Get rid of the no shows while they, while we can. So we don't have to deal with them later in the tournament. Cause we don't want someone like, uh, that to be in the final and not show up. That would just be very i think they'd actually be banned from the tournament from the future for the future if they did if they made it to the final and didn't show up but uh it's the i don't care round yes but i agree you could you can judge my play <laughs> i i don't mind um carter jj ready for up for the zombies game today i am ready tonight i'm playing in the zombies tournament i am ready for that he's gonna try to so roll a two. He gets it. And he did get 12. He did get 12 there. I'm gonna point out to that that green did get an extra troop for no reason. It looks like he might keep that. Uh pink's going for the four position play. Okay. I'll move this two to the right. I don't need it right there. I don't even need it right there at all, honestly. I could probably tense it to the left side. I might do that. Yep. We'll just go to the left a little bit. As so. And I like my four where it's at on the left top because it's it's block. It has the kill guard on red. It looks like I will be card skipping. But let's hope purple doesn't notice. 
That's all I can hope for. I do, we do need to keep track of the bounties because that's what they want for this tournament in terms of the rules. They just want it to stay the same as a regular game. So we're going to be doing that. And green got under. Green was put under good. That's awesome. Red is the only one above now, but they did let green get an extra troop at one point. So blue sets in early. This makes me question if I really need to skip now. Oh boy, blue is a beginner. Please do not hit my four or my three. Okay, that is scary as frick. Oh boy. The fact that blue set an early scares the crap out of me. Oh, that's the dude who did who didn't want to play zombies. Oh, frick, man. Okay. Okay. I don't think I should skip uh, because we got some players in here that might make mistakes on just trading in early. Uh, Skipping is probably not the right idea. We've already had someone trade in on three, so I, I, I really don't think uh, skipping is a good idea. Normally I would, but after seeing what Blue just did, it, it's just, there's, it's pointless. I really want to skip here, dude. I really do. Oh boy. Nice. All right, I got a really open board on the right side, but the left side, very condensed. You can see how many uh, stacks there are on the left side. Blue has a lot of scattered, or a lot of uh, troops that are scattered instead of in one position, which is kind of weird. I am blocked from the red 15. I like that. Nope, he's going to move troops over. Interesting. We notice how pink is in four positions, three that are very close together and one that's not. Uh, green's in two. Blue is in... One, two, three, four, five, six, six, maybe five and a half, I'd say. Um, purple's in one, two, three, four. Red is in two, three positions. Weird positions. Um, per yeah, we, we went through them all. So... Two attacks from green, whoa. Unnecessary attack. There, there. There goes his one extra troop that he that he got. <laughs> no one sets on four, okay. So this lobby's not too uh, shabby. Get my plus two. All right, um, we'll get an attack to the right here. Make this a five, make that a 10, a seven. Get an attack with a four right here. We could make another position. I think it's unnecessary. I'm gonna put it up there. That was the extra troops given to me. So I'm in a good spot. I'm feeling just all right here. Get that four in the bottom right corner. I really like that.
should be most wary of blue since he set an early. We also need to watch out for his kill. Probably line it up as best we can. Um, 22 for red there. It's a blue too. Keeps going. What is red doing? He hit a blue too. Oh boy. Is he going for the 70? Oh man. <laughs> oh my god, he is. He is going for the 70. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, it's turn it's turn five. What are you doing? No. Oh shoot. I don't have a set on three. I can't run for it the next turn either this is so funny <laughs> this is so funny oh no and my eights block too oh man red attacked a lot that is hilarious i, I can't this is so stupid red's dead he's gonna die here soon somebody will kill him i'm glad i got the kill guard on him so me and purple have that kill guard i yeah hopefully he doesn't set in on three because i bet red will do it so we need to hit red we we need to attack red and if they're not attacking red then uh red will win next turn with all the troops he's getting He'll just run through it and take it, especially with a trade on three. Red will win. I'll hit. I'll probably hit red three times, maybe four times. We'll see. Um, one of the last people to go after him. So we all need to hit him a couple times. He needs to keep attacking. He needs to keep attacking. Yeah. Okay, good. Please don't hit my five. Oh boy. I oh that's I mean he hit quite a bit there. Oh he's gonna keep going. Oh shoot. Okay, what a waste of a troop there. He did more than I thought he would. I thought it honestly I think that if everyone attacked red uh twice I think would be fine so hopefully pink does a couple times as well pink does a little bit well played thank you pink all right, so I will attack red once because he's going to get extra troops here. <sighs> um, Who is the kill? We're looking at purple. We're looking at red. We're looking at blue. Purple, red, and blue. Okay. All right, then. He's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's fine with me. I got him to 16. Purple's on 1. No, purple's under neck. Okay, so red's on 25. Green is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Nice. So green and red are the only ones that are above 12. We're gonna leave that there. Now, I think anyone could set on three and just win it here. I'm like fairly certain on that. Please don't hit my eight. Thank you. 
What is he doing? <laughs> He's just gonna keep attacking. All right. Oh boy, why? Stop attacking. Oh my god, he's gonna feed himself. Pink is gonna get this kill. Good game. <laughs> like, this is over. Oh, dude, Pink is gonna eat this up. He's so lined up for it, too. Like, oh. Oh, man. His 13 takes that right pocket with the six. The 12 takes up. The 11 goes to the... He's gonna actually... Pink would need a set. Because he has to go through my eight. Uh, yeah. Pink Pink would need a set. But even if he does, he probably just takes a 70. Oh my gosh, red. <laughs> what a noob. Green is an easy bounty. Green is definitely an easy bounty. I think I will look for green first, but... He sets. Nice. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have enough troops to get it. It's not close at all. Oh, man. I mean, look at the... He's only halfway, and he's already used over half his troops. He just fed red. Yeah, good game. Good feed. Um, I think... I don't even think... Uh, I don't even think he has to trade in. Yeah. No, he's just going to go for it. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Pink doesn't. Does Pink have it? I don't know. I'm going to set it and kill red and then kill who else? Uh, blue. Red then blue. Yeah. I think I just win the game. All right. 11 takes this. Cool. My eight will make it 12 and I'll make it a 16 so we can go all the way to here. All right, we have that and that's all that's all the troops I need to kill red. Okay, let's look for blue now. Make this a 10, get blue. All right, and we'll fortify back up with this guy because I will trade from this. I'm going to take my sweet time too, so. Okay, there's our first bounty. Okay, now we kill blue, use the dudes. They know it's over. Um, We'll go south first. Do we want to kill purple at some point? Probably, but we'll get enough troops to cake it off, right? Good game to him. Purple's at 11%. Can we get that? Let's see here. It's kind of close. 30. Now we won't get it. All right, we're running then. There we are. So we kill red. Or no, we killed. Yeah, we killed red, then we killed blue, and then we took the 70. So that's first and two bounties. It would technically be 18 points um with so it it was it was an easy game i would say that was an easy game i think pink could have won that if he would have killed red there but i don't think he saw it 
anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this uh qualifier game and i'll see you guys in round one peace